Hey everybody, Ben here from Cinderblock Studios, and welcome to Awesome Art Tools number two. Today we're looking at Golden's Macaceous Iron Oxide. Stick around. So, what exactly is this stuff anyway? Micaceous Iron Oxide. That's kind of a long name. A lot of times when I'm talking about this stuff, I'd simply call it Mica Black. And for the duration of this video, you'll probably hear me refer to it that way. This product is relatively interesting because it's sort of a paint color and sort of a medium or a ground as well. But between the two of those things, it's more of a paint color. So like any acrylic product, the Mica Black has some different uses. And depending on the type of artist you are and the type of work you want to do, well, it can change what you want to do with it. So here's three examples of how I use the stuff in my own work. So the three big ways I use it are in terms of color mixing, base layers, and surface prep. Uh, the first example is my Rivers and Air and Earth, I think it's called, uh, mural over on my wall. Uh, that particular piece, specifically in the mountains in the background, I used as sort of a, a base layer to it in order to kind of build some interesting color up over top of those rocks. What's really cool with the Mica Black is that it kind of retains this little bit of a shimmery quality, even after you mix color uh, either on top of it or into it. And so those particular rocks, if you look close enough, actually have a little bit of a shimmer to them. If you're not using it as a ground, you can use it sort of mixed into your paint the way you would any other sort of acrylic medium or gel. I did this a little bit in my painting, uh, That Which Berries also calls Fourth, which I did earlier this year. For that particular piece, sort of the main structures in the center, uh, were painted, at least the rock parts of it, were painted with that micaceous iron oxide and sort of a medium paste mix first. And then on top of that, I sort of worked that color in. It's a slightly different way of just using it as a flat ground. You can actually kind of build texture with it a little bit and really, again, create that little bit of a shimmer effect in the paint. So we've talked about it in terms of using it as a ground, using it as a medium. There's also sort of that initial surface prep layer. Now, one medium slash gel that I actually use a lot when I'm painting on slate is some fine pumice gel. This stuff's a really awesome tool too, but we'll save that for another episode. What is great about the micaceous iron oxide, or again, mica black, is that you can use it as a more opaque color. You're not simply just creating a more transparent gel. You can also kind of fill some cracks a little bit more with it because it kind of dries to that toothy, grainy texture. You actually, I probably should have mentioned this earlier, Rather than the uh, fine pumice gel, which is sort of a, almost a fine sandpaper, this stuff actually has a little bit more of a tooth to it. Uh, so in a piece that I did last November called Luminescent Histories, that's exactly what I did. I painted on a piece of slate, and that whole first layer, instead of gesso or pumice gel or you know whatever else, I used simply that mica black, and that whole piece kind of has a little bit of a grainy, sandy uh, subtexture, which really allowed me to do some cool work with dry brushing. So what about you guys? You're a fan of this medium slash gel slash paint, micaceous iron oxide? Have you ever used it before? If you haven't, how has this video sort of changed things a little bit and opened your eyes to some new materials and how might you use it in your work? Regardless of your situation though, let me know your thoughts in comments below. Go ahead and hit that like button, get subscribed if you're not already. Support the panel, ch uh, channel on Patreon, uh, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, DeviantArt, uh, wherever you happen to find my work, or just find finding new stuff on my website. And this has been from Cinderblock Studios, and I'll see you guys next time.